what do you want to be remembered for when you will be no longer into existence what kind of legacy do you think you will be have left behind what kind of stories do you think other people will be talking about you what kind of foundation do you think you have built for the generation to come regardless of your background before i proceed welcome once again to eddie's tv it's my pleasure to be with you today today we shall be using my recent book and my favorite book called mastering the art of flourishing and we shall be using some of the some of the text written in my book called mastering the art of flourishing it's very important for a, for every person to see him or her as a brand a brand that defines you a brand that clarifies who you are a brand that defines your values do you think other people will be remembering you for having driven all the nice and expensive cars that have existed maybe in your generation do you think you will be remembered for having slept with all the nice and beautiful ladies that have existed in your generation do you think you will be remembered for having drunk all the expensive alcohol that ever existed if you need to do something good something important something that can give a positive impact to you to the community to your family it is always better to do it now not waiting for tomorrow many times people are worried on things that are beyond their control instead of getting worried on things that are under their control why do you think it is important for us to start asking ourselves on what we shall be remembered for why do you think it is important when you ask yourself what you want to be remembered for it helps you to clarify your value in my book called mastering the art of flourishing we said thinking about what we want to be remembered for can help us clarify our values and beliefs by reflecting on what is important to us and what we want to stand for we can better align our actions with our beliefs and make choices that are constant with your values making choices that are constant and which are aligning with your values what are your values what values do you stand for thinking of what you want to be remembered for also provides motivation knowing what we want to be remembered for can provide us with a sense of purpose a sense of purpose what is your sense of purpose do you think you exist in this world by mistake no it is not a mistake everybody has gotten a mandate to fulfill and for you to fulfill this mandate you can only fulfill it if you start asking yourself what you want to be remembered for what kind of legacy you will be leaving behind it also help us to make a positive impact when we think about what we want to be remembered for we are forced to consider how our action and choices impact the others this can this can motivate us to make positive contribution to the world and leave a lasting legacy that will be 
benefiting the future generation. Doing things that not only impact us, but also positively impact other people. Positively impacting the world. Living a lasting legacy. It also encourages us to live intentionally. By thinking about what we want to be remembered for, we are encouraged to live intentionally and make the most of our time on earth. Living intentionally. We don't have to see things happening as an accident. No. We, we, we are not here by accident. We have a mandate. You and I have a special mandate to fulfill. And we can only achieve or pursue our mandate if we start asking ourselves what we want to be remembered for. I want to make a brief summary of this video. Thinking about what we want to be remembered for is a powerful exercise that can help us clarify number one our values, provide motivation, make a positive impact, and encourage us to live intentionally. Four things. Clarifying our values, provide motivation, making a positive impact to the generation to come and also encourage us to live intentionally by reflecting on our legacy we can live a more purposeful life and leave behind a meaningful and a lasting impact on the world This is a very important question you need to be asking yourself. Because what I know, you can only pursue your purpose if you do what you were called for during your time. Thank you so much for listening on Aries TV. If you also need to read more, if you need to learn more, you can go get my recent book, my favorite book called Mastering the Art of Flourishing. I'm very sure you will learn a lot from it. Thank you so much.